Hey guys, welcome back. It's Saturday, full body workout Saturday. I have my workout partner here with me. <laughs> so we're going to combine a little bit of everything we did throughout this week and put it all together in a workout where we're gonna do intervals. Every workout we're gonna do for 45 seconds um, with a 15 second rest in between. So our first circuit is gonna start with our side leg lifts where we go from side to side. So side to side. Lifting our glutes up in order to roll onto that other hip. Next, we're gonna do shadow boxing with a set of dumbbells. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells, you're gonna put one foot in front of the other, and you're going to do your jabs in an upward motion, okay? Then our last um, workout in this circuit is gonna be the prayer pulse. We're gonna lay down with our legs straight, arms are in that prayer position as we come up to where our abs are flexed, and go right back down. So that's our circuit. So let's get started. Leg lifts to the sides. Here we go, 45 seconds. work. 15 seconds remaining. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Stand it up to go into our boxing. One foot in front of the other. Starting in three, two, and one. She got me the heavier dumbbells, clearly. <laughs> we only have two sets of dumbbells, so someone's got to use them, babe. And then you can stagger, switch stagger, because you're not putting pressure on one lower back side than the other. Switch stagger. 15 seconds. Good. Three, two, and one. Well, nice work. Yeah. Nice work. Good job. Okay, here we go. On the floor, prayer pulse. Starting in three, two, and one. And you Legs can, are straight. Or you can bend them. The, the bending decreases pressure in the lower back. Fifteen seconds. And if you can't handle it anymore, just hold it isometric. Or one is up and the other is down. All that just to handle low Three, back pressure. Two and one. Very nice guys. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna start it all over again, starting with our leg lifts to the side. Three, two, and one. Hopefully you're feeling your obliques. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Good 
good job. Stand it up for boxing. Starting in three, two, and one. Now I'm doing uppercuts this time versus straight up. Still working those obliques. A continuation of what you just did with a switching leg lifts, side raising. Switch stagger. 20 seconds remaining. Really reach those hands up to the ceiling. Try to go back slowly. 15 seconds. Now versus switching, I'm going to stay on one side and then I'll switch when she marks halfway. That's another way of doing it. If you can't handle your lower back, doing all that switching back and forth. Halfway. And now I switch to the other side. There's more intensity because you're accumulating on one side without changing it. Starting in three, two, and one. Stagger switch. Dance with it a little bit more. You're getting the whole body involved. Switch stagger. 15 seconds. Switch. And you can even switch, switch. Every other, every other. Three, two, and one. Nice guys, nice. Last set of prayer pulses. Here we go. Three, two, and one. And go for it. It's not easy. Halfway. Right, keep at it. Just keep at it. Now my knees were bent, now it's straight. 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. Nice job. Catch your breath. 
Get a drink of water. Stretching my lower back. Because the lower back wants to pick up where your abs are not doing it. And then get into those hamstrings too. Okay, next round. We're going to do our small circles. So you can do these sitting down on a chair or standing up. Arms are straight, good posture, and we make that circle with our dumbbells, small circle. Then we're gonna go into bicep curls. We're gonna go to the front, to the sides, to the front, to the sides. And then lastly, we're gonna hop back down on our mat and do choir hydrants. On all fours, that hip and leg lift up, Open and close, open and close, okay? And we'll switch halfway through and do the other side as well. Okay, here we go. 45 second intervals again. And I am going to use a single dumbbell and I'm just gonna rotate around the axis. Starting with our arm circles. Starting in three, two and one and go for it and that works those delts the elbows are locked and i'm just turning flipping it upside down or just rotating around the axis that still works the shoulders Good, 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good work. Hop it up. Bicep curls in and out. Starting in three, two, and one. Good. Nice. Make sure you're getting that full extension coming up to where your biceps are flexed. Very nice. 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good work, guys. Good work. Let's hop down on the floor to do those fire hydrants. Ready? Here we go. Up. I'll tell you when to switch sides, okay? And it's okay if you feel it on the one on the ground too, because that is your stabilizer. It's called a tender bird effect. Switch sides. Ouch, the one on the ground is really burning now. Three, well, we just got done working. Two and one. Oh. Nice, guys. Good job. Good job. Start it all over. Starting with our arm circles. Here we go. Three, two, and one. This time I'm on my knees. It's a little bit easier in the lower back. If you have low back pain, doing it while standing. There's less center of gravity transfer because now you're closer to the ground with your back. Whew. That's a burner. 
Sure is. 15 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Nice. That burned a little bit more too. Because you're not focused on using your lower back to do the work. Bicep curls. Here we go. To the front, to the sides. Nice. Good work. Yeah, those arms are burning. Oh, even if it's 10 pounds, you're still feeling it. If you're doing it correctly, sagittally and coronally. <laughs> coronally. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 10 seconds, guys. You got it. Three, two, and one. Good work. Good work. Down on our mat for our fire hydrants. Here we go. Lift it up. Good work, switch sides. Ten seconds. Those shoulders too. And let's start those arm circles. Here we go. from each side, either side of you, either side of you, either side of you, still gets those shoulders, and then when you, then you switch. 15 seconds. And you can stagger, bend your knees a little bit. If your back starts to kick again, re-stagger. Bend your knees a little, side to side. You get into the obliques a little bit doing that too. Three. Two and one. Four. Way to hang in there, guys. Way to hang in there. Biceps, babe. Yeah. Here we go. Let's go for it. To the front, to the sides. Good. Couples that work out together, stay together. <laughs> My mouth is closed. <laughs> Good work, guys. Good job. Feel the burn. 15 seconds remaining. And 
switch. Make sure you're keeping those glutes contracted and trying your hardest not to let your hands hit the floor, keeping that weight sustained. Very nice. 15 seconds remaining. Dumbbells up, take it back, and press. Other leg, press. Other leg, press. No, I'm, 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 Other leg. I'm just varying it with a contralateral lunge press. It works on balance. So if someone is struggling with balance, this is a good way to improve your balance, contralateral coordination. 10 seconds. Every two, I switch, and it's contralateral. The one that's going behind. Last one, guys. This is the opposite. Good. Good work. Here we go, basic crunch now. Basic crunch. Three, two, and one. Sometimes I like to separate my arms and as I come up, give a little tuck, tuck. Good, you got it guys, 20 seconds. Gone or left? Left. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Very nice. Stay down on your mat. And let's move into our skull crushers. 
Here we go. Raise it up and go for it. Pelvis is high. Good. Fifteen seconds left, guys. You got it. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Stand it up. Alternating lunges with our press. Here we go, take it back. If you hear it correctly, it says as you're doing it, it means you have tight hamstrings. The correct is a grinding bone sound, and it's not something you want. So when you're done with it, make sure you get into stretching those hamstrings so that crepitus goes away because that leads to osteoarthritis, degeneration of the bone. And you know, we all don't want that. Last one, guys. Nice. Good work. Good work. Let's hop it down on our mat for our basic crunch. And I'm going to do the hamstring stretch because I heard some crepitus of me. Go. Here we go. Tuck. Tuck. Did I get into it? 20 seconds remaining. Good job, guys. Good job. One more round left. One more round. So back to our skull crushers. Here we go. And go up. Squeeze those glutes. Good job, people. Job. Hopefully you're feeling your triceps work, your glutes and your hamstrings. Ten seconds remaining. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Hop it up for our alternating lunges. Back to a balancing for me. Here we go, guys. Step it back. Switch. My hand is on there. Just continue learning that balance. 15 seconds. Last one. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Let's finish out our crunches. Again, crepitus. 
Here we go, guys. Switch. And then I join in. Fifteen seconds remaining. Three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Nice work. Let's take a minute to stretch it out, okay? Shoulders. Awesome job. Hopefully you got your heart rate up. Obviously, if you want to do it a little longer, go through a second time. Go through again if you want to. Triceps. Nice. Hamstrings. We're showing you different variations of the same stretch. Switch legs here. Nice. And lastly, quads. This is very intensive. Uh, and if you have bad knees, just be careful that you don't. So remember, you can hold on to a chair, bring your leg up, and stretch as well. Guys, you did a great job. Once, a re once again, reminder, full body workout Saturdays. If you're enjoying these workouts, please feel free to donate at Venmo at Leah-Menya or PayPal, fitnessatlionsgym.com. Thanks, guys. See you on Monday.